Hello travelers, my name's Chris, welcome to Lore Spire. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to obtain the unique Longsword Radiance. Okay, not only obtain it, but also how to fully upgrade it. Alright, to begin with, we need to solve this gem puzzle in the Shield Maze, which is pretty much the first dungeon of the game. It's located right here where you can see me at now. You'll come here immediately after you leave Neathholm. Okay, and to solve this puzzle, you just have to input the uh, colors in the correct order, which is yellow, blue, red, yellow. Then the door will open and you can go inside and grab Radiance, which is over here. Okay, this here is the Defender's Heart Tavern area. The story will bring you here, you cannot miss it. And while you are here, uh, pretty much any time, you can come over here and talk to Joran Vane. And whenever you talk to him, pick the option, Show Radiance to Joran. And he'll agree to make a scabbard for it. Okay, that's all that you have to do for here and now. Uh, the next part will be in Dresden, and you'll have to be sure that whenever you assault Dresden that you bring Radiance with you, or else you cannot do this next part. At the end of Act 2, you will attack Dresden, and you need to make sure that you have Radiance in your inventory when you attack it so you can get it upgraded. Don't worry, the story will give you plenty of warning so that you know that you're coming here and you can grab uh, radiance and make sure that it's in your inventory all right so as long as you talk to Jorn Vane before like I showed you and you have the sword when you talk to him here you'll have this option which is I remember in Canabras you said you would reforge the scabbard for radiance you select that and there you go you receive the upgraded sword and at this point it has been upgraded to a plus two cold iron long sword which isn't great, but you know, it's not terrible for this level either. It can be upgraded again at the Midnight Fane. At the end of Act 3, you'll start an assault on the Midnight Fane. Make sure that you bring Radiance whenever you start that assault. You can upgrade Radiance into two different versions in here. One a Holy version and one a Bane Living version. If you want the Bane Living version, you cannot have Sila in your party. She will stop you from committing the evil act it requires. So don't bring Sila if you want the Bane Living version. Now, you will come to this room. You can't avoid it. It's part of the story. You'll reach this room and when you do, you need to talk to Yaniel here. And you'll have these two different options. Options two and three here. One is to hand her the sword and one is to attack her with the sword. If you hand her the sword, you get the holy version of Radiance. If you attack her with it, you get the Bane living version. Now I'm going to show you what the two different versions are. Okay, so this is the holy version of Radiance. It's a plus four cold iron longsword. This weapon is a plus four cold iron longsword. In the hand of a paladin or a good aligned mythic creature, it becomes a holy avenger. The sacred weapon provides spell resistance of 5 plus the wielder's class level to the wielder and anyone adjacent to the wielder. It also enables the wielder to use greater dispel magic at the class level of the wielder. Only the area dispel is possible, not the targeted dispel or counterspell versions of greater dispel magic. Holy, a weapon is imbued with holy power. This power makes the weapon good aligned and thus bypasses the corresponding damage reduction. It deals an extra 2d6 points of damage against all creatures of the evil alignment. Okay, so that's the holy version. And this is the unholy version of Radiance. This weapon is a plus 4 cold iron longsword. In the hand of an evil aligned mythic creature, it becomes a Bane Living Avenger. This sacred weapon provides spell resistance of 5 plus the wielder's class level to the wielder and anyone adjacent to them. It also enables the wielder to use the greater dispel magic effect at class level of the wielder. Only the area dispel is possible, not the targeted dispel or counterspell versions of greater dispel magic. Bane Living 
A Bane weapon excels against certain foes. Against a designated foe, in this case a living foe, the weapon's enhancement bonus is plus two better than its actual bonus. It also deals an extra 2d6 points of damage against such foes. So it's a plus four cold iron longsword, but whenever you're fighting something that's living, it will actually be giving you a plus six bonus and dealing two extra d, uh, d6 points of damage. All right, so that's it. That's how you obtain and fully upgrade the uh, Longsword Radiance. I hope that this helped you out on your playthrough. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I really appreciate it. This has been Chris with Lorespire. Be well, my friends.